GCSE Maths. There are dozens of videos out there telling you all about the good things you can do to improve. But what about your mistakes because they're the things that are actually holding you back. So here are the most common mistakes GCSE students make and how you can avoid them to ensure your grade 9. Mistake number one, you don't understand the topics. And if you don't understand the topics then you're not going to do well in the test. So you have three solutions. You can start listening more in class because we all know if you miss one key piece of information in maths then the rest of the process isn't going to make sense. So stop continuously taking notes and pay close attention to the teaching. If you can't do that then you can obviously revise using some revision guides. For example you can use the CGP revision guide which I use and I would highly recommend buying this with the exam style book as well because you can revise and understand all of the topics here which have work examples as well. You can just move on to do some practice questions here. But if you're a person who can't listen in class or use books for revision and you do have amazing resources out there online, for example, corbymaths.com, this website has videos on nearly all the GCSE topics with worksheets so you can practice. And of course, you also have GCSE videos for maths on YouTube. Mistake number two, you're making silly mistakes. And I know this is experienced by all students who do maths, but it is possible to avoid. Because if you know you have a test coming up and you can note down all the silly mistakes that you usually make in a test, whether that's just plotting in the wrong numbers in your calculator or using the wrong values during your working out. Because trust me, if you do this, then you will pay way more attention during the test to avoid these mistakes. And another way to avoid silly errors is to check your answers in your test by using a smarter way, which is to redo the calculations, but in reverse. So for example, if you were asked to solve the equation to find X, then get your value for X and put it back into the equation and check if one side equals the other. If it does, then you obviously got the question correct. If it doesn't, then you need to redo the calculations. Mistake number three, doing past papers ineffectively. And some of you actually do this. Whenever you have a topic test coming up, you'll just lazily search up on the internet, GCSE past papers, you'll end up doing a whole past paper without even doing the questions for the topics that you're advised for. A complete waste of time and ineffective. So do me a favor and instead search up Corbett Maths enter the topic that you want and write exam style questions at the end. You'll get a whole PDF file full of pages on exam questions that you need. Maths is a hard subject but luckily for me it's a very strong subject and that's because I've started preparing in advance so understanding the topics effectively and doing practice questions effectively as well. If you do all the tips that I mentioned to you in this video then I can guarantee you a really good grade, an improved grade in the next test or even a grade 9 in your GCSE exams. That's been it for me from this video. Thank Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.